For as long as I've been playing 2K, people have said one thing. 2K does not listen to the community. It's one of the most popular things that 2K players actually say. But there's a guy who actually believes that's not the case, and he has a slew of different videos he's using as evidence. So let's explore. Does 2K actually listen to the community? Before we do, hey, look, man, y'all new to the channel? What, there's a big red button. It's free to click. Go ahead, man. Click that button for me, why don't you? Drop a like on the video, and let's get into it. All right, man, so he starts off the tweet saying, so the biggest narrative every content creator pushes is 2K does not listen to community. Well, let me show you how that's a lie is built from the community, even the parrot. NBA 2K Battle Pass. Now, I know a lot of you guys play Fortnite, or even if you haven't played Fortnite, you've seen it, and you know that there's a Battle Pass on Fortnite, and yeah. I also know that you guys don't want to pay 2K more money, but I think this could be pretty cool. For example, each month, okay. 2K will drop this Battle Pass, and each month, there's different things that you can earn in the Battle Pass, and you have to earn rep or whatever, XP, in order to earn these things. Not gonna lie, that sound pretty one-to-one. -one. That sound pretty one-to-one, -one. okay. The people bashing the seasons were the main ones asking for it. And here's a screenshot of Double H saying, Muff, we got a battle pass, I'm a cry. Power saying, we did it. Damn. That is <laughs> iPod. No fucking shot. Okay, let me see what Pod's talking about. I told you guys how I wanted to be in a seasonal type of vibe, right? So let's talk about season passes for a moment. Now, this is something that Fortnite has offered to Fortnite players over the span of their game, right? Damn, why the f is the video crop like this though, bro? If this was a meme, it should be a zero out of 10, man. Crop it shit properly. I want their seasons to go within the time span of when the actual NBA season starts. Mm. So even if they named the season one. Look, first of all, Pop, I have a lot of questions as to why you got a prawn hub-esque shirt with a lot of dots all over it. But hey, listen to me, I personally, I, I'm, it's just none of my business, man. I wanna see things like the tigers, maybe even some new animals. I think that would be a good um dare you addition to, say to dare the game. You. I dare you. Adding animals like maybe monkeys, birds, you know, that would be cool to have. Damn. Okay. All right. He's right so far. Cause this is a thread. This is a it's a pretty lengthy thread. He's right that some of the stuff that people are actively complaining about are things people ask for. Instead of always dropping a new 2K every year, just turn 2K into a battle pass, but rename and call it NBA 2K season ticket and rename each season ticket by year. Also, that this is not the same thing because he's arguing against annual releases. I think there's actually a case to be made about that. But he did argue for seasons. A tweet of Aiden saying, take me back if 2K 21 had these affiliations which ones are you choosing please make it to where we can see our teammates shooting bar in all game modes i'm so tired of my teammates telling me they're shooting full bars when i know it's not a full bar it will be crazy if affiliations return to 2k21 right here's what we want park affiliations mascots parks new events cool rewards but knowing you you're gonna ignore this good talk not a solution is to bring back park affiliations. Just give each affiliation their own neighborhood. If we're stuck in a neighborhood, also, nobody wants a theme park back just for a day, a week. My idea they should have done the block parties and events was to give us an event from day one, but let us keep the theme parks for the week. So Dime Time Park for a week, Dunk Fest Park for a week, a Ruffles Park for a week, etc. <laughs> I'm waiting on it, man. We got Davis. New parks and affiliations, please. Two years in a row asking for tigers and birds. 2K doesn't listen, though. On my wish list is new rep rewards. You know, 2K keeps bringing back things like the skateboard, the hoverboard, which is cool. Like, keep bringing those back, but add new rep rewards. Like, you could add different animals into the game. And I think it was NBA 2K16, there was the tiger, if you guys remember that. They could add animals mm. like monkeys or birds, you know, basically. Mm. Start monkeys and birds. Hey, okay, look, look. I don't want to burst nobody's bubble. I'm not the type of guy to burst bubbles, man. I usually help blow bubbles up i'm like the bubble blower man people love me at birthday parties but i think this thread is wrong in a lot of different ways and, and it actually goes on for further we'll take a look at some of these because there's a lot of videos here and, and and what i think the picture he's trying to paint is that a lot of people are asking for things and when they get them they're upset about them but if we look at each specific case there's usually a good reason why they went from being excited about the idea to upset and the reality is man a very a very wise man once told me it's all about execution People, I don't think, would be opposed to having a parrot. But if you told them the parrot was going to be the biggest legend reward after hundreds of hours of grinding, you could see why they're upset about it. I mean, I, I feel like this is pretty f common knowledge, but it really just depends on how you f 
fucking executed. A pair will be a fine reward at level 30, maybe even level 40, but for Legend, you can see why people get upset. There was a few tweets in here about people asking for new perks. I mean, 2K had new perks for 2K16, but ran it back for 17. They had new perks for 19, but ran it back for 20. They had a city for 21 and ran it back for 22. Yeah, they did make aesthetic changes on that second year, but it wasn't transformative. It still did feel like the same place. It goes without saying people want a new aesthetic. It just It's just it's something nice about just having a switch up. And I do agree that for the most part, especially the last couple years, they've been doing a good job of like changing the murals in and around the city. I mean, just between the different events and affiliations, it's kind of hard to look at the same thing for too long. But that's a good standard to have. You should want the aesthetics to change. I mean, that could come in different forms. 2K adding new stuff to the store so people are wearing new things. And just allowing for decent customization on the next gen version of the game, there is no my court. You don't have that customization either. And if you, if you want to play with some friends, you go to the Gatorade rent -a courts It's a bad solution for what was already a poorly executed my court. All we ever asked for was a my court that worked and didn't have glitches. Where our friends can... Anyway, let me not go on a tangent. I do see what this guy is saying. I do think there's plenty of evidence of people in the 2K community asking for something, getting it, and being underwhelmed. Or maybe asking for something like affiliations to return, getting it, and then being underwhelmed. It's true. I think nostalgia carries, right? If you had a joy, your memories of playing 2K 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 were one way and 2K changed something, you could see why you want part of that feeling back. Reality is, man, affiliation is not going to bring you that 2K 17 feeling back. It just won't. It's going to create a new feeling for you that in a few years, you probably want back as well. So it kind of does make it challenging for 2K. People saying 2K doesn't listen to the community. Well, which one should they listen to? Is it worth bringing affiliations back? Because when they do do it, people not actually really fucking with it the long way. I, I definitely don't see enough people excited about having uh, the night site, the night city, night north side heights mites. Like... People don't care as much about affiliations as they felt positively about them from the time they used to play. That's true. But I don't think 2K content creators are exempt. I'm going to continue watching this thread here. I guarantee there's going to be examples of people asking for something. Next moment, they don't like it. It's true that maybe the execution of the thing was asked. Maybe the parent needs to do something except just be on your shoulder the whole time. That'd be like if I said, bro, I want a house. And then you're my real estate agent. You help me get a house. I mean, these things do happen on my Agent Zero One channel. I do some real estate videos from time time to time check it out man top link in the description but then when i get the house i'm upset at like something about the house maybe the backyard is small and i want a big backyard it's not that i don't want the house anymore it's that i wanted a good house like the house that i ended up buying just wasn't the one it was a bad house for a slew of different reasons so it's not that something wasn't done it's that it wasn't done to the standard at which people had hope that's the difference 2k is borrowing what a lot of big games have been doing lately and that is simply by separating the game into different seasons as we can see right here okay. games like fortnite warzone apex you name it all these big games right now have successfully done this and this for True. sure has been very beneficial to each of these games if you think about it every time there's a new season in one of these games everybody always comes back every time there's a new season True. that drops there's always going to be new hype around it people are always going to want to see what the new season is like and if 2k manages to do this correctly it will be so good for the longevity of the game i'll say this chat chat I've been streaming too much. Hey, my Twitch, man, it's on a screen right now. Look, this was me. Uh, this was me on another stream. And this was me literally the following stream. Link in the description if y'all want to pull up to the streams. I actually kind of want to hold out on the seasons thing. And I know that's not a popular thing to say right now. But the reason I'm saying that is because in 2K21, 2K tried RPG. I feel like they whiffed. It wasn't really all that nice. But in 2K22, man, I had a ball for like 20, 30 hours of gameplay playing the my career story and running through that RPG. The, the side careers and everything, it just made it. It was... A, good fucking time but it was the second year of them trying it so part of me wants to hold out hope that 2k is capable of creating a seasonal content strategy where people can actually reasonably be excited about the content i don't think they're doing an atrocious job i think they're doing a bad job bro when a start of a fortnite season happens bro i'm hearing about it and i don't really know too many people that play fortnite it's just it just shows up on my timeline somehow and people are geeked because of a new lore that's gonna happen in the story or they get some new gun back or there's just a reason why i end up hearing about why people People are excited about the seasons in other games where they actually do it successfully. Y'all want to know what happened to the lockdowns? The devs listen to the community. Community is so split on lockdowns. People hate how they steal. People think they're useless. Like there's no in between when it comes to lockdowns. It's been like that for four years. The game also needs to focus on favoring offense over defense. The truth of the matter is in the NBA, everybody can score. 
there's so many elite offensive talents out there. Even the guys on the end of the bench that you don't even really know about can go get a bucket. It's a bad but take. But the truth of the matter is there are not a lot of elite defensive players out there. And even the elite defensive players get scored on a lot. Bro, I hate that argument. I hate that argument that this is how it is in real life, so 2K should be like this. That usually results in bad gameplay mechanics. I'm arguing against that. That's a bad take. I'm not even going to lie. Every 2K since had double reward weekends. I wonder why maybe they listen. As you guys know, like Call of Duty has double XP weekend and stuff like that. I feel like we need to add like a double rep weekend and stuff like that because most of you guys mm. know in NBA 2K16, it was extremely hard this year to get Legend 5. I'm not sure if they want to keep it like this, but um I just that up Mario. This shit Loki has some credibility. I'm starting to this threat is starting to make a little bit more sense the more I go down. And now people are complaining it's way too easy to hit legend that everybody has a reward that is not worth getting. Rival day two weeks from now. Duke shoot over those Dennis. I hit up Duke and he says he wants rival day with the winners getting a new park. That's exactly how it was in 2K16. You feel me? They had a little championship run oh, you know no, no. rivet ended up winning nobody knows how the hell they won they literally had like the least amount of players i'm pretty sure but you know hey whatever you know floats your boat 2k but hey bring it back i mean that was a fun thing okay this is just wrong right this is like not not g man i'm saying this is a bad take in 2k16 we received a rooftop park for rival day what that is not the same thing as 2k reskinning a part of the city it just isn't it's something it's definitely appreciated it, it was better than not having nothing but we can't compare the two bro it was man i was floored when they added a new map like with four or five months to go in the life cycle of the game they added a new map i was like god damn and it looked gorgeous and made colors pop man it was on a rooftop you can see helicopters pass man i loved it haven't seen nobody wearing book bags in a while but y'all ask for it i'm getting to the next one which is book bags this is a big thing that we want in nba 2k17 because <laughs> most real life basketball players or most of you guys who play ball in real life when you go to the gym and you go to the park you go with your backpack bro book bags are just aesthetic things it ain't what it is but did he just say book bags is like real big <laughs> <laughs> man, we got this huge, important, serious conversation, man, I want to have with y'all, man. And it's shoelaces, man. I think the shoelaces just don't have enough detail in 2K nowadays. <laughs> That's actually quite funny. Sure sounds to me like exactly what they did. Let me hear it. Don't tell me it's f***ing Mario again. I also would love to okay. see 2K bring back affiliations. Now, I would like to see some new updated affiliations i don't want it to be the ballers the rough riders and the okay riders and and they did just that my opinion was very unpopular three years ago i said bro man we don't need affiliations back i think majority of people wanted them back for the nostalgia part of people just wanted it because like they it really meant something to them but do you remember there was actually like uh sunset beach ballers and i think 17 got a plus four ball handling attribute boost so basically everybody was a sunset baller anyway but hey look man i'm a guy who said for a minute now that i personally didn't find no value in the affiliations i actually think they kind of held it back a little bit because people only wanted to play with people that were the same affiliation as them because it was a benefit of doing that but uh, you know so i just kept that one to myself on most videos because like people were like ah that's how agent you know what you're talking about but it's like bro, i'm just keeping it a butt man but maybe it, your experience is different you might really like affiliations and if you do you should be ecstatic in 2k21 2k22 because they got affiliations in there for you man sure sounds like what the 2k league is doing but okay hold on now if we can have like you know more tournaments my park tournaments clan tournaments and it doesn't even have to be for cash because you know in um and fifa they have like pro clubs where every weekend there's a my park or every weekend there's a tournament on fifa i agree i agree and that is actually not what the 2k league is doing i tell you that much for a fact 2k needs to have stuff like road to the finals road to the all-star game and pro-am tournaments bro in 2k14 2k had this thing uh integration with virgin gaming where you can go on their website and like put up money and play games against each other bro it was so fucking you could do it for free too but like if you were really nice you put up money man i was like bro 2k adding competitive integration into the game and having road to the finals in 2k16 $250,000 pro-am tournament and anybody can enter it was rampant with cheating and 2k never kept up kept up with it but it was a good idea though an idea that if they executed properly it would be fantastic 2k league players it's their job to do this for just us casual people who want to play like on a weeknight who don't want to make this their career i think that's what he was talking about but it is similar to what the 2k league is doing but that's not who it was meant like come on please y'all ever wonder where they got the idea to restrict height on jump shots i don't think i've ever seen this video implement that height reflects how your jump this? shot this looks. 
Now hear me out on this because this is something that people don't usually talk about. There's no reason that a seven foot stretch big should have the same jump shot as a six six pure sharp. Yeah, low key I think it's a good take. Don't restrict jump shots, just restrict jump shot speed. We don't need very quick centers that shoot over top them. Man, if we had that, man, 2K19, it'd have been a problem. Y'all, why would 2K patch left, right? 2K, because y'all was screaming on this app to patch it. Here's a tweet of G-Man saying, more open about this. What exactly are you wanting from me, dog? We asked them to fix left writing, nerf five tens, which would lead to folks learning new dribbling. They added, but you see something else. I'm trying to understand you, bro, but you have said nothing that made sense yet. I don't think the dribblers wanted dribbling left and right to be passed. They just wanted the zigzaggers like me to be passed. <laughs> That's a difference. When I when I left right, I promise you, I'm not using the right stick. <laughs> <laughs> when they go left and right, it's because they're dribbling in those f***ing directions with their right stick. It is what it is, man, but it's not the same thing, bro. I know that much. I think there's some merit here, though. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. There are times where I quite literally hear people ask for things that the same people two years later hate it. They detest it. The fact that someone went through the effort of putting this entire thread together and a lot of people added me on it, they're like, Asian, bro, take a look, take a look, take a look, take a look. This so hypocrisy is crazy. I do think 2K puts in an effort to listen to the community. I definitely don't think they don't put in effort but the effort they do put in i feel like there's always a thing that reminds me they really don't listen to the community and, and it'd be shit like some small that you add man for example in 2k11 there was a mode called the crew people loved it 2k took it out the game man 2k12 13 14 15 people was begging for that mode back 2k finally brought it back in 2k16 they just called it something different pretended it was brand new this time they called it pro -Am. Or i think they added pro -Am in 2k15 it doesn't matter it disappeared from the game for years how does 2k do that right there and you want me to believe they listen to the community if the case you're making is they listen to the community it's true at times it's also true that sometimes they just hear the information and never apply it for example i've been begging for proximity chat i don't know why it's not a thing that everybody really wants but maybe just because i play games in proximity chat and i know how fun it can be i've literally went to an event told developers to their face that it would be incredible for the game and i've never heard about it since it is what it is they know they've heard they technically did listen but it just was never implemented and it's not like everybody has to listen to what i'm saying like if i ask for something put it in the game or you're not listening but there's plenty of examples of the community begging for things and never getting them i think that's where it stems from and when you spend enough times in any other gaming community while no developer or community manager is perfect the effort is usually at a higher tier of seeing something that doesn't work and then addressing it hey your game is poorly optimized all right let's come up with some patches to make sure it runs smoothly that the input delay is low and that doesn't happen with 2K. In 2K19, for six months, we screamed something has to be done about shot contests and it was never addressed. A game that could have been the greatest 2K of all time had one thing that was just fucking it up, man. Stretch Biggs was shooting over those and it was nothing we could fucking do about it and it was never addressed. Everybody said 2K, do not bring back the city for 2K22. And although they did make improvements to the city, they made it more compact and it, it definitely was good for the story. Overall, people are still unhappy about the fact that the city made a return in 2K22. But even if we took a look at the whole thread and focus on every piece of evidence provided for why 2K does in fact listen to the community, on 12 of them, he was able to show evidence of such, where that's exactly what people asked for and 2k did it and on nine of them he wasn't it wasn't an accurate representation of what people were actually asking for and while a lot of people just say the first thing that's on their mind and the community is not always going to be right about it at the end of the day the developers are the ones with the actual experience relative to all other game communities the 2k community does not get listened to these are facts i'm curious how y'all feel about this since you are the community drop your comments in the comment section down below drop a like on this i do stream on twitch man click that link in the description and I have another channel I post about two times a week on. So if you guys want to catch me outside or what I do on gaming, well, then you can catch it there. I'll catch you guys. I'm doing a lot of catching. See y'all on the next episode, man. Peace.